गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू सेक्शन मैचिंग्स इन ए ग्राफ सो रिकॉल द बाइपर्टाइट ग्राफ्स एंड इट्स क्वाइट ईजी टू विजुअलाइज मैचिंग्स इन बाइपर्टाइट ग्राफ सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स दे आर फाइव स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी हैव फाइव आइटम्स आवर एम इज दैट मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स शुड गेट द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ द आइटम्स If we try to match it, then we will observe that only four of the students can get four item. It is not possible to match all five of them. So this is known as the matching, where you are matching one set of objects to the other set of the objects. So if we have to define the matching, then matching can be seen as the subgraph. With vertices of degree one, so let us see an example. If we see this graph, which is having three, four, five, eight vertices are there, it could have many matchings. So one of the possible matching is shown here. So you can see that three independent edges are there, which forms a matching, and then there are two unmatched. vertices in the graph so this represents the unmatched vertices and m is a matching we can see it as a subgraph with vertices of degree 1 or you can see it as independent edges independent edges means they do not have any end point in common now once we talk of the matching we can think of a perfect matching perfect matching means there should not be any unmatched vertex so if you see this matching then there are two unmatched vertices are there so this one is not a perfect matching it is not guaranteed that perfect matching always exist but if it exist we can try to find it so for the same graph this is the perfect matching where you can see that there are four independent edges and none it does not have any unmatched vertex so we say that a matching is maximal any matching with one edge two edge three edge it is maximal if you cannot add an edge to the matching to make it a bigger matching and once maximal is defined then we also talk about maximum which means there should not be any matching with more edges it would be clear once we see some examples so if you see this one then this is a maximal matching because the existing matching or let's say the size of the existing matching is 3 so we cannot add one more or we cannot increase its size to 4 because it can only be possible when there is an edge between these two unmatched vertex which is not there so therefore this is a maximal matching but this is not a maximum matching and this one is a maximum matching because you cannot increase or there does not exist any matching with size 5 so 4 is the maximum so formal definition a matching m of a graph is subset of edges so it is a subset of edges such that no vertex is incidenting to more than one edge in g so that means we are looking for independent edges because they have no end point in common so you can see there is a graph and this graph has only one edge so if you consider one edge then it always forms a matching then there are two edges which are independent and in this case there are three edges which are independent all of them represents a matching but in the first one we can say that this one is not maximal because i can increase its size by introducing this one so matching is maximal if it is not a proper subset of any matching or there does not exist a superset of m which is a matching
maximum we already defined and perfect if it covers all the vertices which means that it should not have any unmatched vertex so consider these two graphs and try to identify which one of them is a matching and then is the following matchings if it is a matching is it maximal is it maximum is it perfect take your time and try to identify it and then you can see the answer which we are going to discuss so the first one you can say that because of the presence of this loop it is not a matching because when we say the matching then we say that an edge should not have the common endpoints so this is an edge which have a common endpoint and therefore it is not a matching but this one is a matching which is maximal which is perfect and which is maximum moving further are the following matchings maximal recall the definition and see if they are maximal so we can observe here that this is an edge we cannot consider these five edge because they are incidenting to one of the endpoints of this edge so this one is maximal similarly this one is maximal because there is no other edge and similarly this one is maximal but at the same time are the following matchings maximum So please do try and you will observe that the third one is maximum because its order is 5. So maximum matching could be only 2 because it is incidenting on 4 vertices. In this one, in the middle one and in the first one still we have the possibility to find a maximum matching. So you can see these two and these all are the maximum matching. And then the question comes which one of them is perfect so perfect means it should cover all the vertices so this one is the perfect because it has no unmatched vertex find a maximal cardinality matching which means find a maximum matching for the following graph this is an exercise please invest some time and you will observe that this is one of the maximal maximum matching Some quick questions, do you think that the perfect matching is unique? Of course not. What is the maximum number of edges a matching can have? So it's of course n by 2 or exactly n by 2 in case n is even. Otherwise it is n minus 1 by 2 if it is odd. What is the number of edges a perfect matching can have? So perfect matching is only possible if it has n by 2. What is the size of a maximum matching in a bipartite graph? So recall the bipartite graph which can be partitioned into the two sets. And then its size is at most minimum of m comma n so you can try to have any bipartite graph something like this one two three four five so when you think of the maximum matching maximum two edges can be independent not more than that and in some cases it can be less than that also so that's why we can say that it is at most minimum of mode x comma mode y so we will start with the bipartite matching but then we will discuss the matching about the general graphs also so bipartite matching let's consider a bipartite graph assume that these directed it's not directed and we need to find a maximum matching what do you suggest what should be the possible approach to find the maximum matching so if you recall the network flow model then 
the best approach is to introduce the source and sync introduce the directed edges and make them also directed and then look for the maximum flow so the maximum flow gives you the maximum matching very simple idea you just need to introduce capacity as one to all the edges and then compute the maximum flow using ford fulkerson algorithm then you will observe that so this is the final answer we will reach and in this particular case you will observe that the maximum matching is 3 so this one and this one so you include this edge then you include this edge and then you include this edge yes but the point is that do we have a better method to find the maximum matching and for this we will introduce the idea of the augmenting path which means that we can start with any initial matching even with an edge and we try to augment it until we reach to the maximum match so to begin with first we need to introduce the concept of augmenting path with respect to matchings so let n be any matching then a simple path we say it's an alternating path or m alternating path so m means we already have a matching m if the edges e1 e2 ek are alternatively in m and not in m we will see some examples and then an alternating path is said to be augmenting path if if p is an m alternating path in g and neither u0 or uk it means the end points are covered by m then only we will say that it is an augmenting path let's see an example so if you see this example it is of course an alternating path because alternatively there are edges which belongs to m which does not belongs to m so this is not in m this is m this is not in m this is m and this is not in m and also it is an augmenting path because it starts and ends with a vertex which does not belongs or which is not an end point of the edges which belongs to m so this is how the definition but the next question is why it is an augmenting path so it is an augmenting path because this path is of odd length it always helps us to augment the number of the edges in a matching so right now it's two but if you alternatively if you alternate them then you can see that now there are three edges which belongs to m so initially there were two and now there are three so that's why it's an augmenting path so next question is if you recall this graph can you quickly identify if exists an augmenting path in this graph so whenever you look for an augmenting path you always have to look for two unmatched vertex and try to see does there exist an alternating path between these two vertices so this then this then this this and this so there already exist an alternating path between these two unmatched vertex and therefore we can augment it which we have already discussed earlier so the maximum matching is 4 again consider the following graph and look for initial matching which is marked by purple edges do you see an augmenting path here so again you can see that we can start from here because 1 and 4 are unmatched these are the only two vertices which are unmatched so this does not belongs to m then there is an edge which belongs to m this does not belongs to m so this is an augmenting path which can be used to increase the size of the matching so you can see this yellow one is an augmenting path and finally here the matching size is 2 but now it's 3 so let us consider one more interesting example so you need to find the maximum matching where initial matching is given again you can identify 
there are four unmatched so this one is unmatched this one is unmatched this one is unmatched and this one is unmatched so there are four unmatched vertices are there it means initial size is 5 and at most it can be 7 just we need to identify does there exist an augmenting path between any two pair of the vertices an augmenting path cannot be unique so if you try it you will see that if you start with this blue one this is not in M then this is in M and this is not in M and these two are clearly not covered by M so this is an augmenting path again I choose the remaining two unmatched vertices and there is a this does not belong to M then M then not in M then M and then not in M so again there is an alternating path using these two alternating path the size can be increased by 2 and we will have the maximum matching of the size 7 which can be seen here so quick observation is a matching in a graph is maximum if and only if it has no m augmenting path so that's all from today's class thank you very much for attending the lecture